Right, <laughs> hello everybody. Game number 20 of Tentalica is this. I've really got no idea which game it is. Um, got a TV advantage. Hopefully he's got an old cash in the bank. He does, so he'll probably get himself a wizard, won't he? He's got loads of skeletons, which is good. Top, I don't even... I've never seen this skill before, ever. Sneaky git! <laughs> sneaky git! I've never, ever seen it. Isn't that crazy? That's why I've never seen it. It's sneaky git. That's funny that in, in how many games of Blood Bowl have I had? I wish I could... I can't find out. But, um... In all these games of Blood Bowl that I've played, I've never, ever seen um, Sneaky Git. He's got two kickers. He really likes kick. Maybe he thinks it's Dirty Player as well. He's got a goo with a skill that I'm not too familiar with. Jump up. There you go. Um, he's got a guard grab mummy. His record's 948, which isn't too bad, is it? How does he have a positive record with his team skill selection? <laughs> Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? This is Be because undead are just that good, probably. Um, and there you well, go. Or maybe the champ ladder is just that bad. Yeah, a, a combination of the both. Surely, surely he will buy a wizard. Who knows? Mm. Oh, he's got four he cheerleaders like and four coaches. Double Igor or something. He's got a bribe. Sneaky Git, I mean, I don't know how many games I've played. Sneaky Git probably will rip my team now, Morbid Orbit. But the thing is, it's just I've, it's just funny that I've never seen it. Wow, he's, he's, he's putting money from his treasury, but not to buy a wizard. Beautiful. Four cheerleads and coaches, yeah. Wow. Hey, look, I've had my share of non-shitters, and I've had my share of brutal luck as well. So, you know, ev everyone's the same, you know, everyone's the same. E everyone at the, top of the, at the top of the leaderboard will have had, you know, matches like this. Um, a fair amount of matches like this. Or, well, not even, this one isn't even easy, because he's going to foul me a lot, and he can, he can beat me up. So this isn't even that bad. He's got a bribe and a sneaky git. He's going to fucking bring the fouls, isn't he? Probably most of his wins are concessions, though, where he's just fouled people into submission. But Undead are still a super strong team, aren't they? Um, especially against claw pom because claw pomming regen is, isn't... Obviously, claw pomming zombies is the worst player to, to claw pom. Claw pomming a, a mummy's pretty feels good, man, though. Um... Yeah, so you know, so it's 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 his team. My team isn't that much better than his, but it's obviously great. It hasn't got a wizard, and um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. So I've still got to focus anyway. That's that's the thing, isn't it? Because I can't so really knowing, play one. Knowing now that it's going to be a foul game, and that you know, grab mommy's going to pull people behind to get some ridiculous foul. I uh, got a plan for mitigating the chances of you getting fouled. Yeah. Okay, do it. Good luck. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, look, I remember playing against Russian Undeads that fouled every turn and got a Kaz every turn. Yeah. And uh, I was very sad. It's absolutely something that can happen. It's not even unlikely, really. No, 30%. And you're not playing bubble, and if you're not actually playing bubble, it kills you want, it doesn't matter, you get kicked twice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going straight for I'm going straight for the sneaky git, by the way, which is funny. After banging on the on the skill selection, I'm totally I'm totally going for him first. Um Right. Okay, I'm I'll, I'm I'm out now. Um yeah, skeletons are better against claw pump, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Skeletons are better But to be fair though, I mean, they're not against everybody else. They're only better against one player, aren't they? So um yeah, worse versus everybody else. Right. Okay, so I'm out now. I'll mute myself and you can listen to Fash Binder. Thank you very much, sir. Let's go. Game on. <laughs> Probably should have done a cool pep talk. Uh, you know there's going to be a foul coming. You absolutely know it. So I would not be surprised if the Thor Mighty Globe Blitz on the skeleton uh, doesn't get piled on and he just retreats. He's otherwise definitely getting fouled.
Yeah, but no. Uh, so yeah, don't don't pick it twice on your shorthand skill. Don't take jump up as the next skill. Take block. And yeah, look, that's really and don't take chilies and coke. Unsurprisingly, not piling on. If we can use the glory of hindsight, uh, see what the next two dice are. Remembering that pushes our fours and fives. Which is dumb, because you'd never pile on anyway. There's just no circumstance to pile on. Also, Undead Coach doing an aggressive setup. Uh, that would have got punished by Quick Snap. Um, that's an arrow away. But I've done about 10 New Year's in that it's nothing exciting. You know, fuckers go and listen to fireworks and folks at the beach with drunk girls, pretty good. But there becomes a certain point in time in your life where you, <laughs> you realize you just don't give a shit about anything. And that all you want to do is just play video games. Or in my case, not play video games. And just, just imagine like I was playing them. It's the GFI Mummy Blitz? No. What a skeleton of all things. Uh, guard Noble Warrior can chain off the mummy and follow on a success. And then blitz and block the fella in the middle and get a good foul on the dirty player. Uh, but what might even be more tempting might be the because that would be a core bomb that you could protect. The downside would be that this rock on the right-hand side of the field, uh, you'd lose complete control. He's committed four men, arguably five, with the stunned skeleton uh, to tie up two fellas. That's a trade that I'm usually happy with, even if it means I'm taking just through the pressure he would lose elsewhere. Oh, and look, classic Cole, half-mans, given blocks for no reason. It's unbelievable. This skeleton tagging the Chaos Warrior doesn't do anything. The Chaos Warrior wasn't really doing anything otherwise. Maybe assisting on the mummy, but that's easily achieved almost anywhere. I think it's 100% the Pom Blitz on the mummy with the Dirty Player's foul. Dirty Player's now blocked free. And, uh, push from the Guard Warrior allows the zombie to follow up. Ah, oh, boo. Uh, could be a spot of bother on another push. Yeah, bringing the extra rod across is good. It allows the Chaos Warrior block on the mummy to be a chain. Isn't taking it though. I guess it allows them the Chaos Warrior block on the mummy to uh, push him off the... Wow! I say like eight dice? Eight dice on the mummy. Feels bad, man. I've got a cold uh, auto. That could be it. Oh, he's going. So I guess Dirty Player can't foul because there's a giant hole if it does. Oh, boy. I'm concerned with the giant hole. I guess it's fair enough. There is a warrior in the way. 
uh, it doesn't have four strength blitzes, so like one die for a push to make the hole to then not really threaten the ball. So I guess yeah, and dirty player moving is fine with the ball having rotated. Still massive commitment on the right here from this under. Oh yeah, definitely cake, okay. definitely. You throw a dice at someone and uh, push them every time. First action mummy block. Well, look, at, not, inevitably not first action. He did stamp some people up. Good on him. Could a two die on the warrior on the right. Open mummy likely to blitz. No. Rarely see a uh, undead coach not blitzing with his mummy every turn, considering how he's uh, seems to be playing for blocks. There's another thing too. Look, this school sweeper. I don't. I, you should absolutely have a consideration for your opponent potatoing and attempting to strain. But an unskilled ghoul is not the person. Yeah, this ghoul should actually get yeah, absolutely. Good work, this guy. Need you realize that six move pestivores aren't something to be too worried about. You know, uh, eight move high elf catcher, that'd be something I'd be concerned with. Like anything that's actually threatening, for sure, have a response to it. But against dwarves and, and necro and, and not necro, dwarves and noble, that sort of thing, wouldn't be too concerned. Doesn't seem to be a lot of <laughs> a lot of thought going into these uh, undead players. Just seems to be mashing a bunch of people in against each other. Like I, I assume on the right here, where he's got the guard warrior and the guard warrior and the the rotter, that's going to be just some crazy gang fouling. And look, it's not terrible early on in the drive. But just getting banged on elsewhere on the field isn't really worth it. With a bit of maneuvering at the cost of absolutely everything else. Wasn't worth it, but could have. Oh man. So the Pestigore successfully locks the kick skeleton. Homer, two dies the mummy, would be able to pile on, and then Dirty Player would be able to protect the Homer. Oh no. And then foul the mummy while maintaining a string. And Blitz still in hand as well. Pretty sure. Got him. No natural arm break. 100% piling up. Break into a chasm to regen. <sighs> dirty, dirty regen. Yeah, this is Lima though. Like, uh, uh, I think my game against World Sitter in Season 1, he did the same sort of thing. He just sort of ignored the ball and just went on this crazy fouling rampage and i wasn't going to run down field needlessly on, on turn two uh, like I, I gained ground where it was relevant but i uh, realized that if i was getting fouled every time uh and losing men which i was i was going to lose the game so i had to engage in the bash and i had to, had to meet it which was exceptionally short sure.
Um, but that's putting my faith in the two one grind. If it is truly well and truly open against a slow team. But even then, look, Jim's got no tackle. The goals with dodge could be tedious. It's still always better to score on turn eight. Unless you're up six men, like against that Norse coach in the previous match. If you're up six men, you can score whenever you want. With anything. Even a full lineman team. A full team of orc throwers. I would score on turn two, if I could. If I was up six men. First action, mommy block. Single assist. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so uh, those of you playing home, the thing you should absolutely do is look around at the side of your turn and say, right, I'm going to blitz this guy with an army. Cool. Who's gonna, who else is going to uh, make a move this turn? Right, I'm going to make a foul. So let's move these three guys uh, ready for the foul. They will make the money blitz. They will move our skull to my crop. Caught him. Happy days. Ten apiece on the field, though. But happy to have the Brab gone. Oh, it's crazy, really. It's absolutely crazy. I'm always lacking a target this turn. I guess unless the uh, Noble Warrior fell on the white. Still some great trades to be had in the right hand side. I would absolutely... Uh, wouldn't tag the mummy, but I'd have a warrior on the ghoul skeleton. And then the other warrior. Oh, maybe I would tag the mummy. No, nah, probably not still. Maybe tagging the downed zombie and rocker. So then the mummies not really do anything. I think you get a foul somewhere uh, nearby. Yeah, the dilemma now with not making some contact is that the five guys that are completely out of position uh, that have made foolish fouls freeing up the pitch uh, can now rotate back around and get in the way i mean there wasn't really a safe spot for the ball i've been happy marking the downed white and the skeleton on the left probably risking the gfi to blitz the number six white and then with people tied up, wouldn't be... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he rolls it. Oh, never lucky. Yeah, no doubt about it, was it? <laughs> Any great GFI to get you homo or block. Oh, sneaky little trap in moving the rocker across. Oh, wow, surfs are plenty. Wow, I fell straight into that trap. Good one, Jim. Uh, no shopping break, Morbid Orbits. Get some coffee, mate. I used to think drinking tea was cool, but then I got coffee, and now I have an addiction. If I, if I don't have coffee in my vicinity. Start to get this chronic headache. Sick in my stomach, that sort of stuff. And that's the sort of addiction that you want. So yeah, look, I really would have liked to have seen the big tied up, the Chaos Warrior screen, the rear 
does make sense, but I think the guard guy could have just formed a cage if that's what he wanted, and then had the other fellow take the ghoul and the skull. Because you're otherwise not punishing him for splitting off half his team to do dumb shit fouling. Although it doesn't really matter, as uh, the surf on the white is definitely, definitely happening. And you're always happy with that. Oh man, food deliveries via drone. 24-7. Order some nachos, some fucking makes you nachos somewhere in some giant factory. Gets delivered out by drone. The drone. The real benefit to the drone is that you don't have to talk to anyone and you pay it online. And then you order, like preemptively order like a drone landing pad. And so you don't even have to open the door. You can just open up like a window or something and the drone lands on the drone landing pad. That's the dream. I guess if you had like a really uh, open house with a large window, you get the drone to land next to you. How good would that be? You wouldn't have to get out of your seat. That's the world I want to live in. Got the KO, but I wouldn't have pushed uh, diagonally. Like, yeah, pushing him diagonally up means that he's pinned in for more tackle zones, but he wasn't dodging that anyway. I'd have pushed horizontally so that you could stand up and block him to surf him if he did stand up with the zombie, and that would allow your core bomber to make the blitz. If you pushed him and he landed and, uh, and he just stood up like a madman, your pommel would have to make the blitz, and then you're not making a pommel blitz that turn. Yeah, so look, uh, on the sideline, got the surf, but yeah, the undead's rotating. Feels bad, man. Anytime you see Mummy with grab, and look, grab is a fine skill, but it would be after stand firm and block for me. And when you see people in call take grab, it's because they're going to be doing stupid shit, darling. Unpunished. GFI, unpunished. Uh, but the foul has left him in a poor spot in that the white and the sneaky git are being banged down. Uh, if the ghoul isn't moved to a better spot, Jim could go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, no surf. No go too slow. But yeah, look, turn six, and there are some obstacles as opposed to no obstacles. Yeah, 
you know, just playing the long game, just uh, playing for par. Par's all you need. Par's all Jim will need to win this. Not doing dumb stuff, not doing risky stuff, no GFIs, only one dies that don't matter. Oh man, getting a Kaz, with that means a Pi-1, it's 2 from 2 on the regens. That's the Palmer a couple of squares of movement to reposition. Ah, oh, feels bad. With one real left, you have to take it. But I did go with the Warriors to trap the, well, attempt to trap the Skeleton. It's otherwise another Surf. Um, potential risk for the ball could be... one d for a push on the Pommer. Uh, for red on the ball. He's not really getting two on the ball, but it's really hard to get two on a fourth strength. So he should be fine. Even just tagging the ball. So if I was the undead coach here, I'd be saying, right, I'm in a bad spot. I'm just going to make two dive box where I can. And that's usually enough to stop a drive if your two dive locks are successful. Seems to be assisting a bit strangely. Yeah, so you could have pushed and followed and then brought an assist round and uh, I'm just throwing over yellow red. Yeah, zombies. A zombie dodge. Unbelievable. Only two turns left for Jim, needs to be in a strong position. Uh, good enough hole on the level, well, good enough uh, avenue on the left, in that the Palmer can take out the Skeleton and two Chaos Warriors. Not Chaos Warriors, two Warriors, Nova Warriors. Could attempt to screen the rest out. Ultimately, there's a chain to push the Sneaky Git and the Furtherest uh, Skeleton out the way and that will allow the ball carrier and a bunch of people to get but it doesn't seem to be happening as he's just standing them up if you're doing the chain you leave the number 11 roller on the ground so he's not doing the chain going for the uh, clear seems good oh man pommel with another removal and another regen hot diggity so uh, a bunch off for the drive but only for the drive. Oh, not a huge gain either. I think the closer warrior should have attempted to screen off the front to stop, or attempt to attempt to stop people from getting in front. And the closer warrior screens out closer. I mean, it is best for Gauls. He's tied. Almost everyone up. Yeah, the ghoul dodges. Yeah, the white is open. Yeah, I think that play could have happened without the GFI if two warriors spot their actions. And it's always going to be red against best for ball.
Yeah, and since it's the advantage to just being up men, even though it's only for the drive, the offense becomes a you know, walk in the park. Uh, no, look, he got, uh, Jim got the removal, so the, the drive is all but assured. But yeah, it was a little bit harder than it could have been, but still wasn't hard. And he pombots every time. Makes it easier. I think what the undead coach needed to do was to make that block to get the Chaos Warrior on the ground, then have the zombie assist, and you need to make a better attempt at getting in front of uh, of the ball on turn eight, or for Jim's turn eight, as at the moment it's 2D for a push, and you need to do better than 2D for a push. And to do better than 2D for a push, you need to block out the front Nova Warrior. Uh, so White's one square forward. Zombies where he is, Ghoul blitzes the warrior for a push, doesn't follow, and then stands in front of the white. And at least then there's a semblance of a screen with the guy that just dodged now, dodging successfully, standing next to the zombie. At least then you've got a too thick elf screen. That would be a little bit harder. Oh, what's this? Ah, three dice. Uh, that Nova Warrior wants to peel away. No success. In before, 181. Don't want to jinx it, but it could happen. How's the ghoul? non-natural arm break in that it was a for naught it does have a two guy on the mummy In that the guard guy can stand up and with two assists the the rotter has a 2D. Maybe just didn't feel like the rotter blocking was worth it, which is fair enough on turn eight. Uh, not doing excess actions even with a reroll in hand is a good idea. Did the warrior for a block? Look, better to have him out uh, for the drive than not out at all. And yeah, there's a big foul coming, and... Yeah, with a two-man bench, not a huge price to pay. Jimmy wisely taking best for gores off the field so that the throw a rock uh, can't hit him.
<laughs> Sneaky get doing a thing. Unbelievable. Oh my god. What an absolute joke. Yeah, it was totally pro had he brought in the extra skeleton to assist. Now uh, would have broken up and got sent off. And that would have been then a a two and a two on the armor roll. I'll rephrase, it would have been a two and a one due to the inaccurate and then one on the palm. So it would have been uh, caught for a send off. It's done. Daddy played properly and got a proper uh, proper foul on. Would have been punished. And that's the worst thing about Blood Bomb. Uh, no worries, uh, Wombo. Wombo Logist. MD. Good guy, uh, good guy Jimmy, that is me, streaming Blood Bowl. Oh man, uh, Undead kicking. No, Jim's kicking. Alright. Oh, yes, a bribe. A great kick, though. Yeah, he's got a medical degree. Nothing you often see from some cold coaches is them not making 3 die blocks with mummies. There is no reason not to make a 3 die block with your mummy on the LOS. Two assists isn't hard to achieve. Yeah, it's mostly you guys don't sit in silence. With me sitting in silence, I got a bit bored watching it. Cast for removal, good start to the drive for the undead man. With a bribing hand that's going to keep on coming, I won't be surprised if Jim makes an effort to remove that dirty player. They did mention it. That it was a consideration. And so the pom hit into DP foul wouldn't be too surprising, really. Uh, alternately, if Undead Coach does something dumb with the ball, like not protected or silly pass, just taking the ball off him and scoring takes. Uh, all, all doubt out of the equation. It's just Jim's really chasing the wins, whereas we don't know the objective of the uh, coach he's playing. Securing of the win will be the most important. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Double skull into uh, mine, into not really being able to protect the 
Oh, into knock a stun off the pylon. Uh, means that the mummy is likely to blitz a corner P protection fella if Jim doesn't protect it properly. Uh, so, for example, if we look at it in current, in it, yeah, mummy blitzes away the the warrior. Assist comes in, yeah. So Jim's protected it properly, realizing where he's weak. Uh, but still, look, unassisted fouls can still. I wouldn't write it off completely. But at the same time, you know that your opponent. Oh, that's a dirty player can fix it. You know that your opponent's going to do something a bit crazy in that. You know, he's done this fairly man heavy line, and his defense was fairly man heavy. It's safe to say that you're going to get man -mum turn. Mummies might be a bit hard to clear. I wouldn't mind someone like Besfigor. Uh, maneuver a little bit more toward uh, taking the ball. But DP getting a stun on the sneaky gets not scared of the counter foul. Oh man. <laughs> I doubt like, like I said, different people look for different. Uh, you can be entertaining or skillful, as uh, any streamer really. Entertaining or skillful. That's pretty much it. And there are a lot of people that go the entertaining route because they're not very good. Not, not Blood Bowl specifically, but just in general. Whereas I myself. Like, if I go to watch a stream of a game I don't know anything about, Subnautica came out, I look for a stream, or when H1Z1 streams are out, I look for streams without cameras, and when you see a stream without a webcam, you know the guy's good at the game, but he's not sitting there doing funny faces, making memes, and that if he's got people watching, it's because he's good at the game. And... I can't stand the watch Blood Bowl that isn't being played. So uh, Jesse, you'd have to do, you'd have to do well. I'll cast Shawnee one time. Wow, Doctor Mombosco. Wow, we've got a couple of doctors in today. Yeah, it's, that is what I do. One of witty names. No, I got the KO. Oh, got to be pleased with that. Equalizing the uh, sneaky get removal of his rock. Ten men. Ten men on the field apiece. Now, uh, with the ghouls being shit and not having lodge, I, as Jimmy, would be less concerned with potato. Oh man, Fal gets a removal too, up one. I think Jim will go all man's next turn, and then just look to take the ball, take any sort of risk out of the equation. Coaches that fail every turn have ridiculous team builds. Uh, probably every turn with the bribe isn't bad, but you know this guy was going to fail every turn regardless. So, oh, back down to evens. You know he's going to fail every turn, regardless of having a bribe or not. Uh, and those sorts of coaches just struggle when they're not up men. My Indred. I don't know who Indred is, but I'm not them. Yeah, Jimmy's making a final push. I convinced him earlier, well, I didn't convince him. I said to him earlier today, I could just do four games a day. I've got an undefeated uh, Dark Elf team. I don't know. Yeah, four games for four days. And if I won them all, uh, I'd be the best. But then I realized I'd have to play Bob Ball. So I didn't do it. But it was enough to convince Jim to do it. So I've done my good deed for 2016. 
just in the nick of time. Makes Dao elite commentary. I don't know what Dao is. Shawnee, kid you not, I am in the darkness scratching my ball. I was just I was just thinking earlier as I was scratching my ball, I should probably take a shower <laughs> after Jimmy's next game. Oh, I could be. I've logged into his Steam and I'm secretly playing. That could be it. So yeah, Undead Man, that is caged. There's uh, three men that he can then maneuver from them. Common mummies. Oh baby. Oh baby, got him. Got him. Man, Pom is almost ready for another level. He's an absolute machine. Yeah, Mash for Gauls, who leveled up last game. Preconceived. The preconceived game. Got piling on. And he's 2 SCP from a level. Jim will be so keen to get him another Kaz. And with uh, five turns left and five blitzes left, I can't see him not doing it. So they say, Sean, so they say. Oh, uh, is he going to risk the Rotter Dodge again? He was punished last time. <laughs> uh, failing a dodge for a uh, removal is a super likely outcome. Both mummies off, and all of a sudden the undead look absolutely rubbish. One dice of Chaos Warrior into Potato, I guess. And best for goals will meet that, no worries. But still, Jim's only got one reroll left. Uh, hit fifty-five percent on the, and if the if the white powers this warrior could make the semblance of a screen and make it a little bit difficult. Doesn't. Marks him instead. That'll do, Peggy. That'll do. Full potato. Yeah, look, I think hiding behind the screen might have been even better. What is best for One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'd be a GFI to hit him if he hit the screen. At the moment, it's uh, down warrior stands so and two warriors clear. I wonder if he could make it. No, not even close. He's not making it a three dice. I mean, really wants to make this block. Stating the obvious once again, but if you don't power him and he does some ridiculous, well, not even ridiculous, 4 plus, 3 plus, with a uh, skill and team based reroll, 75 into 89%, um, to run in and score. A double skull would be pretty terrifying. That'd be your last reroll gone. Oh, three dice. I'd even leave the rotter for potential recovery. But in the interest of safe place first, uh, tagging a good idea. He's got a push and a skull out the way. Means the next block is guaranteed to be a pal. Look, the last pestigal probably should have moved. It's really guaranteed to be a pal. 
Oh, I guess it's not moving so it can react to a potential scatter out. Good enough, Jim. Good enough. I would have moved it first, just quietly. But look, it wasn't really doing anything relevant. Oh man, not moving it. What a good call from Jim. Holy shit. Alright, so here's the rationale behind that. It is, yes, this Pestigol could have run down six squares diagonally and looked to cover the uh, ghoul bullshit. But if it not move, if it doesn't move, Jim gets the power and the three and eight to go out uh, can react to the scatter. Whereas if it didn't go out, he's not reacting to the scatter anyway, so it doesn't matter. So not moving was actually the absolute best play and just got rewarded for it, but didn't get rewarded. That's fantastic. Yeah. Good stuff from Jim. Oh, baby. Palmer in range for the ghoul. Uh, no other undeads really react. It's like he just stood up his ghoul on the sideline. Yep. Thinks an assist will stop best for going. Oh, that's a dodge blitz. Madman gets it as well, the scallywag. Wow. Yeah, look, shorthand ghoul, shorthand's ghoul near the ball, still just a bit scary. As much as it would be cool to surf his sideline ghoul, I think the blitz will still have to come on the ghoul mark on the ball, and I have to, I mean, definitely. It's a bit of a shame. Would have been nice to get it for free. Double dodge, the scallywag. Absolute scallywag. Good. Bad. Stay fantastic. You know, look, it. it's almost like that by not having to read chat and getting distracted, he's able to put his full concentration towards playing the game and he's making the right decisions. So it could bring both Noble Warriors to the sideline and then allow the Rotter to chain out at the, uh, a zombie. Uh, it's just for no reason. Hmm, I'll go in for the scatter. Fair enough. That's a bad scatter. Oh man, now you gotta worry about this shorthand's ghoul causing trouble. It's almost worth not making the block on it again. Still gonna do it, but he needs a bounce of play. And then it has a 1 in 8 of being caught. Well, not, not a 1 in 8. Still the potential to get caught by the uh, standing zone or the scatter being in a square after pushing the ghoul uh, to be unmarked. And it's uh, still in the hands of a dodge ghoul. And you don't want that. Also, I didn't really hate the Nurgle Warrior staying near the whites and zombies, or uh, white zombie. Because if he's near them, the servant presence will stop any sort of ghoul bullshit. Or hand off or something dumb like that. Is the push. Oh, it's the worst scatter. Cool. Cool three plus out on a one and nine into the pickup on a one and nine and you can go any.
is a disaster. He does a first action though. I wonder where he's going with the ball. I haven't even spotted anything remotely good. I mean, there's there's nothing going to be there's there's not going to be anything good for him. Um, I think he's better at holding on to the ball and just uh, looking to be in a spot where he can't be hit by someone with block. And put your faith in Lodge. Oh, greedy fella. I think if he's going to do some sort of crazy passing play. Because it looks like he's doing it. That's why he did the double GFI to get out of presence range. And I did mention the disturbing presence earlier. Because making the GFI is if he's not going for the purpose, because he's still getting hit by the Homa anyway. And so I thought it would be something dumb like the skeleton on the sideline making this one dice, which allows the ghoul to catch it on 4 plus. And then the ghoul does a 3 plus, 3 plus to potato downfield, and then it gets caught by the. Remember that when that kid, uh, Harambi, killed that gorilla? That was pretty sad. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I'm not colorblind, and I also struggle to see him. Making three dice when you can? A good idea. Does block and uh, allow a follow up block. Doesn't get it. Not following as good, it uh, ties up the white and the Noggle Warriors position. Makes dodging through pretty tough. And he's not in the scoring range. And these sidelines now protected. Good position. Good enough ordering. Uh, the dilemma is the white stands up. Down Scully stands up. Ghoul 1Ds for a push. And then Wall Carrier Ghoul 1Ds for a push into Potato Downfield. And then Jim's only block is uh, the Short Hands fella. Well, uh, I guess. Well, no, the Pom is out of range then. Maybe the Noble Warrior is probably out of range as well. Uh, in that, he then potatoes where Jim can't take them both down. Well, he still can take them both down. But it has to be a final action, so there'd be no reaction to the ball. So without any GFIs, you get another two scores. Was that cunt? Oh my god! Why would you make that play? Unfucking believable that shit, isn't it? Holy shit! Fuck off! Holy shit! Fuck off indeed!
good. That's what you get for being retarded and making GFIs for no reason. Go on, do another one. Do another one. I, I can't see a purpose for that GFI. Lost your hair, right? Uh -huh. Didn't get a skull. Cool. Hey, this sure is demo. <laughs> nice one, really. Oh man. Yeah, so look what one D's up the middle with and you're in pretty much the same spot without a red die without block. I doubt that block's just so bad. Cool, uh, so with the failed dodge, for no reason, the block's able to be made with block. It's the power anyway. And that definitely would have been re-rolled. Stun's really nice, means he doesn't need to pile on. Catches the ball. No, it doesn't catch it. Animation error. He won't GFI as much as he'd love to mark it. Losing the rear roll to a GFI would be so shit. I think then Noga Warrior comes across to cancel an assist. Allows uh, multiple hits on the goal. For all that you're worried about. And yeah. Four dice on the goal. Would really be enough. And have Ducky for goal, just mark it. So you want to up clean it as the win. There's no more SVP to be gained. It's straight up four dice on the goal. Unfortunately, without block, that's fairly fairly shit. Maybe if you just took the white and the skeleton and didn't move and just had extra men on the ball, that might even be safer. It does seem to be going for the blocks on the goal though, which is good. All the white. Because uh, it was stunned, and because it's stunned, it's not interacting with the rest of the game. And you'd much rather a standing festival that can react to some sort of ghoul bullshit. However, you're right in that, had he piled, got the extra two SVP to level. If we have a quick gander at the block die on the double. Seven on the armor. 1 and 3 in the injury, then it went into a push stumble, so we could say a 4 and a 5. It'd be a 3 and a 5. Who knows? M16, no reroll, just immediately one die with a white. Crazy. Mash for Wars desperately needs two SVP. And I send him a message saying to be a Mash for Get that Kaz. If he fills the hole with a Chaos Warrior, sorry, not a Chaos Warrior, a Noble Warrior, that hole where the white's going into now, if he filled it with that other like, warrior, he would have been able to get the pop. However, this allows for the three dice with Match for Gore, and uh, potentially the level. 
Oh baby. It's always nice to see a three last block succeed. Pile on with the ball. Ah, oh, shame. Bang on. Oh, I had the headphones off. Jimmy might have been talking to me the whole time. Yeah. Um, I was kind of. I was. Oh, I thought I didn't unmute here. Um, I kind. I was kind of thinking that it was turn fifteen, so I didn't need to pile on him, and then I was. I just didn't understand. I was. It was terrible. It was terrible not piling on there. Could have, could have probably killed him, couldn't I, and got the levels. Desperately need the levels. Yeah, we we didn't know which push it was, if it was the three or the four. But, yeah, uh, yeah no, for sure. It would, it would have been the right player to pile on there, and I just didn't, I guess. Well, the, the, the risk was that by not piling on, you always had the recovery for the midfield school doing some bullshit to pick up the, the dice. I didn't hate not piling on. Yeah. I think uh, I think I should. I I hated it because I could have got five star, two star player points and made the level. Yeah, absolutely. That was the thing. It was it was worth it for the level, wasn't it? Shizer. Another MVP on the wrong guy, but if you get another MVP, he's all right. And obviously MVPs on these are good. MVP on him's good now. Ducky with that with that cheeky <laughs> cheeky um, <laughs> cheeky farm. Um, do I want to go up to thirteen players again? I guess I do. It lets me foul, doesn't it? Which I like doing. I do like to foul. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was okay, though, wasn't it? Was it game number 20? Yeah, it was. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.